Hi and welcome to IT Chronicles 10 and Tech. We're coming to you from ServiceNow's Knowledge 18 in Las Vegas. I'm Kirsty McGowan. I'm here with my co-host Carlos Casanova. Hey Kirsty, how are you? Good, thanks Carlos. And we're speaking today with Bruce Harra from Enable Labs. And uh, congratulations on your success in the CreateCon competition at um, Knowledge. Thank you, Well Kirstie. done. Second yeah. place, I guess. Second place. Yeah, well Very done. Very exciting. Yeah. That's so, awesome. So do you want to tell us a little bit about what Enable Labs does and what brought you to CreateCon? Absolutely, yeah. So Enable Labs is a dedicated product business on the ServiceNow store. So we're a technology partner with ServiceNow and we've been involved with them for the last four years now and take advantage of, of their powerful platform and, mm -hmm. and build products for the enterprise. Yeah, cool. and so what was the product you built for uh, Creaticon? We built a product which is dedicated to the construction industry called yeah. Toolbox mm -hmm. and it's a mobile application that uh, leverages the agent intelligence platform within ServiceNow and machine learning and makes construction sites for engineering and the building industry safer. Right. So, uh, so construction, um, commercial construction, residential construction? All of the above, okay. yeah. So any construction site or engineering site, mining site, where there's um, effectively work being done, okay. where safety is of, of paramount importance. Right. Yeah. So what, what sort of... Um you know, what sort of aspect of safety? Is it you know, the governance of safety? Is it implementation policies? Is it uh, the compliance to that? You know, tell us a little bit about you know, yeah. where that is. So very people related. So mm -hmm. ensuring that people actually get to work, uh, are qualified to work on the okay. machinery and, and tools that they're using and they're then able to uh, do their work safely and you know, within the appropriate guidelines. So below the policy layer, yep. integrating into that policy layer but essentially ensuring that both uh, humans and machines interact safely. Yeah, so what, um, what problems can customers who you know, use your platform, use the, use the toolbox, what problems are they going to be solving by employing that? Ultimately, it's about safety. So construction sites are busy often unsafe and there's a, a lot going on. Um, so ultimately it saves lives, yes. uh, which... It's a good thing to that say. Is, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so Especially if it's yours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Um, and then, you know, from a, a maybe a more business layer in terms of um, ensuring that you know that the people that you're onboarding, either contractors or, or, or permanent staff, are, are certified for what they do or qualified for what they do, that the machinery they're using, that they're able to use, that the machinery is, um, is, is in order and yep. working. Okay. Um, so does it get into sort of, I guess, the... Um, the maintenance cycles of, of the machinery and you know the the work hours all that sort of thing where you know it's going through the the appropriate maintenance cycles and whatnot is that does it cover that sort of stuff exactly right okay. yeah so there's asset tracking that yeah. is is associated with that um, yeah. and even moving forward the the roadmap for the product is to be able to I guess use IOT to, mm -hmm. to be able to track that as well in terms of the uh, yes the maintenance and ensuring that the Right. So you talked about the AI side of things. So what the AI and machine learning? What have you employed from from that to? Uh, into the yeah. So there's there's a, there's a few things. So we've uh, integrated into weather apps, for example. So yeah. we can over time with enough data sets, you can start to ascertain the conditions, right. the timing. Um, mm -hmm. and start to predict yeah. when accidents are going to right. occur and, and prevent mm -hmm. that. Um, the example that uh, was used on stage last night was um, a, a tragic one, but recently there was a, 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 a crane driver um, that was, the, the crane was uh, allowed to pick up four tonnes worth, mm -hmm. uh, worth of load and there was a five tonne generator. The human decision on a, on yeah. a site is to, I need to get this work done, mm -hmm. I'm going to do that anyway. Yeah. Because the, the equipment is actually overscaled, so one ton extra, I can, I've done it before, it'll work again. Yep. Exactly right, yeah. yeah, and sometimes it will, but we need to you know, yeah. take away that decision. And, sure. and, and, and so I guess it. in that case, it didn't work? That's right, yeah, uh, yeah. it's unfortunate. So, um, so I guess I run a big construction organization. Mm. How do I engage, I mean, obviously I'm already on the ServiceNow platform because that's where I'm gonna get it from the App Store, right? So how do I decide, hey, I'm going to do this, and here's how I'm going to deploy it. Do I have to upload my, all my equipment? You know, how does that? 
how does that generally play out? It's the beauty of the ServiceNow platform. It is, um, it is quite uh, seamless. So you can either be an existing ServiceNow customer, and if you are, you're quite right. Yep. You could buy it from the store. We will also have a, an OEM model, which means if right. you're not a ServiceNow customer, you can use Toolbox and we will provide the, uh, the ServiceNow oh, instance um, mm -hmm. associated. Okay. Um, and so from the store, it's a scoped application. It sits within your existing ServiceNow instance. It can be implemented and um, mm -hmm. you can be up and running in, uh, in, in weeks. So do you, um, and I've spent some time on the construction side, so mm. I'm just curious, do I need to, is there a library? I mean, we know on the IT side, there's a library of the types of servers you know, mm. that Dell puts out, that HP puts out. Do you bring in a, uh, a library of all the Caterpillar equipment, all the, you know, um, Cummins equipment? Is, is that readily available to upload into that so they know the machine cycle of these pieces of equipment and that sort of thing? Absolutely right, yeah. So the data sets of your assets yep. can be mm -hmm. input into, into your instance and that would be specific either to your company or your construction site. Yep. Um, and through uh, barcodes, uh, essentially, we can just scan all those assets in and the tracking and maintenance and history of okay. those machines can be, uh, can, can be tracked and, and ensured that they're safe. That's cool. So um, you said weather. Is there, obviously, for larger construction sites, is GPS on it or is it in the roadmap? GPS is in, yeah, so uh, integrated into maps, right. knowing where both mm -hmm. the people are and the machines are, and then also being able to track where there is an incident, um, right. and, and that in real time going back to site manager, project manager, yeah. um, to, to ensure that uh, we make it safer. Yeah, well, it certainly mm. sounds like it's a, a product that's going to make a real difference to, so. to lives on those. Yeah, having a husband who's worked in mining for the last 30-odd yep. years, yep. The, the, it's a dangerous situation to be it in. It is, and, and the idea came from industry. Yeah. So it right. was literally a, a meeting we were having uh, with a ServiceNow mm -hmm. customer. They were a construction company. We weren't talking about safety in particular, but we were talking about the broader issue of being able to track who is on site, yeah. what are they doing, when are they doing it, and the idea came from uh, came from that, and we've evolved it, and we're really looking forward yeah. to you know, getting the product uh, out there and, uh, and helping construction companies. Well, thank awesome. you, Bruce. It's been a thank pleasure you, talking to you, and congratulations again. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Christy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.